What's up guys, your boy Darkskin, and today we are going to be going over um, the best coin units in order. So basically, what uh, coin units you should prioritize first. Now, um, I'm doing this video because I did this video a while back, but a lot of stuff, I've done this like two months ago, and a lot, have st a lot of stuff has changed since then. So, um, yeah, I definitely, definitely wanted to redo this video. Now, um, before we get into this video, I want to talk about two characters. Y'all probably already know who they are. And I messed up on this in my last video, funny enough. But I want to talk about King and Deanne. Now, the reason why I want to talk about King and Deanne is because these two units are free. Doing story mode, you get these units for free. Like, you just get them. So, um, I'm not going to be putting them in this list of importance for the simple fact you're going to have them whether you want them or not. Now, I will rank them after I talk about everybody. I will rank them along with the other units. But I do want to preface that King is free. You get him in like chapter three. And I think you get, I forgot where you get Deanne. It's like chapter two or chapter four or something like that. But um, yeah, you get Deanne, you get King for completely free. Um, it tells you chapter three story and then right here chapter four. Yeah, okay. So you get her chapter four, you get King chapter three. So yeah, they're completely free. Uh, I'm going to go over them, though, and then we'll rank them at the end. But anyways, Deanne, um, single target damage. Uh, two star, you're going to seal attack skills, which is pretty good. Um, and then three star, you'll seal attack skills for two turns with increased damage with all of that. Um, this applies burst. If you guys don't know what burst is, you deal uh, two times damage to people with buffs. Uh, AoE ultimate. And then her passive each turn increases on attack by 6%. This DN is actually really good, by the way, if you don't know. Now, um, going on to King. King. His first ability flicks single target damage to an enemy. Two star, he will do the same damage, petrify for one turn. Um, and if it's three star, 50% increased damage, petrify for two turns. Now, moving on to a second ability. Um, his second ability removes all debuffs, right? He just cleanses. Two star, he will heal for 30% of missing HP and remove all debuffs. Now, on top of that, heal for 50% of missing HP and cleanse all debuffs. Which, I don't understand the difference because he does that on every one of them. But, anyways, uh, I know this doesn't seem that good, but you gotta understand. This is on top of your recovery. Like, this is, like, multiplied by your recovery rate. So, like, you heal for way more than 50%. I've seen people uh, with no HP, like, literally one HP, like, one hit. And they go max HP with this one. So it's like, it's it's not only 50%. It, it, it's multiplied by your recovery rate. So, um, but yeah. Anyways, AoE ult does dumb damage. Crushing ignores patience rate. If you don't know what patience rate is, patience is like armor, right? I don't know if you guys have played these type of games. But armor penetration is literally penetration rate. And your patience rate is your armor, basically. Or right here, your armor. So if you have zero armor... And he has armor penetration. He's doing true damage. That's basically how it works. If you guys don't know. Uh, long story short, anyways. Anyways, um, moving on to his passive. Increased base stats of all fairies by 8%. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Anyways, now, now that we've got those two out the way. Let's move on to the actual list of characters. So, I know, and I know y'all gonna be hurt about this list. That's okay. Y'all, if you don't understand, cool, whatever. But, fifth place. Is going to be coin bond now the reason why bond is in fifth place when he first came out he he was super broken did dumb damage nobody else was out that was doing anything like him uh, but over the course of time demon Meliodas got buffed who becomes way better now he has 50% Chris crit rate off base does dumb increased damage all of that stuff now right on top of Halbrum dropped, Escanor's dropped, Gallon's dropped. This bond just is not as good as he was back when all those units were not out. Not saying he's bad. He's amazing. He's a very good unit. He's just not priority right now as far as coin units go. Um, AO AOE attack. Um, Whenever it's two star, it's same damage, but he life steals. And three star, he life steals even more. I mean, it does even more damage. So life steal stays the same on two and three star. Damage stays the same on one and two star. 
his uh, second skill, he steals 30, I mean 20%, 30%, or 50% of enemies attack and defense for three turns. Um, two turns, two turns, three turns, right there. But, yeah, um, ultimate single target deals, steals 50% attack and defense. Um, I think that's for three turns. No, that might actually be infinite, but I thought, I, th I don't know how, how many turns. But, yeah, so there's that. Uh, passive, if the unit wasn't attacked, reduce HP-related stats by 10% at the start of next turn. This stacks up to five times. This is not... I don't know. This, How this is worded... Like, this passive is just mediocre. Honestly, it's just not anything crazy. Um, moving on to fourth place, Coin Shop Merlin. Now, I know what you're going to say. Um, well, I said Bond's fifth place. I meant Bond's fourth place, not fifth. There's only six. But yeah, Bond's fourth place. Anyways, Merlin is third place. Um, back when, before she came out, and like, when she first came out, I didn't think she was that good. But over time, we've come to know Merlin. Merlin is useful in everything. You don't have to use her, but she's useful in everything. She's useful in, um, Grey Demon. Amazing. She's useful in Crimson Demon. Amazing. Um, you can even use her in Red Demon. She has type disadvantage, and you can still use her. Um, she's almost a staple for PvP teams on any for anybody. Um, she's just overall very useful. Very, very good. Um, first ability, 120% damage, reduce old gauge by one. 300% uh, damage, reduce old gauge by one. Three star is 450% damage, reduce old gauge by three amazing uh you gotta love reduce the old gauge very very good one of the reasons why helbrum is as good as he is um second ability produce a shield of 150 percent of attack on all allies for two turns 225 percent attack for two turns and then 375 percent attack for two turns amazing amazing like i said um then her ultimate single target seal attack skills for two turns 540 percent damage to a single enemy very high percentage, right? I know a single target, but very high percentage. Uh, you can look at characters like, um, where is it? Green Meliodas? Isn't Green Meliodas? Like, look, his is 490, 560. You look at Merlin's, hers goes up to 630, right? Uh, it's dumb. Anyways, her passive gives everyone um, an old gauge at the start, which this is amazing for PvP. So good for PvP. Um, yeah, moving on to second place. Second place, Demon Meliodas. Now, I know, I know, I know. Some people are going to be like, yo, what? Yo, Dark Skin, you, you, you put Merlin? Look, with the release of Crimson Demon, Demon Meliodas, you have to have him. You have to have Demon Meliodas for Crimson Demon. And if you're a new player, chances are you don't have that many units. Demon Meliodas is a very good pvp unit not to mention you have to have him for crimson demon no exception you have to have him does very good damage and with his buff his crit rate is 50 percent starting on top of his passive if an allied character dies increases character's crit rate by 50 percent so then he has 100 percent crit rate it's, it's stupid if someone dies he crits Obviously, there's crit resistance, but, like, he has a 100% chance to crit once someone dies. Um, we thought Ignite was not that good, but once they buffed it, um, one Ignite for three turns, two Ignite for four turns, and then three Ignite for five turns, plus 180, 270, 450 damage, it became... D-Mail's damage skyrocketed. Um, he's one-shotting so much. If you saw my last video... You saw how much damage D-Mel can do. Um, inflict 360% damage to a single enemy, apply infect. This is, like, not that prominent for PvP, but it is good for, um, it is good for Crimson, very much so. You can still use this in PvP, it's really good there, but, I mean, this isn't the main reason why it's so good. And his ultimate weakness, oh my, dog, 385%, right? Might not seem that much, but multiply that times three. It becomes a ridiculous number. And he has a fake combo with Merlin. Um, 
very good there then it's passive like i already said you get 50 percent chance crit when someone dies very good now the last person y'all should have saw this coming gother literally gother is just the all-around support so good so 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 good um aoe attack which that doesn't do no damage but two-star you still attack skills three-star you still attack skills for two turns um his second ability ranks up one ally two star you rank up all allies and three star you rank up all allies increase basic stats by 20 percent basic stats being attack defense and hp very 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 good his ultimate 350 percent damage to all enemies reduce old gains by three if you fate with king uh 400 damage reduce old gains by five all very good for pvp still very good for pve then his passive if this unit wasn't attacked, all your allies' damage increases by 10% at the start of turn, up to five times. Reset when damage. Very good, very good. Um, no one really talks about this passive as much because, like, it speaks for itself. Um, obviously, if you don't attack him, he's going to boost his teammates. Um, but yeah, so Gother is first. Now, if we're talking about ranking them, it would go Gother, King. King would be second. Demon Meliodas, Merlin, Bond, Dien. Dien would still be last in my opinion. But yeah, King would be second. King is just very good for PvE. He will hard carry you as a healer. Because if you're starting out, you're new. You don't have a healer. And even after that, um, King is a staple unit for PvP as well. On top of his passive is a staple for Helbrum being as good as he is. Uh, he's just very good. So, anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys did in the comment section below. That being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace.